Hi, second grade. I'm going to go over with you how to use your iPads for today's project. Um, you might remember a few weeks ago we read the book called Those Shoes, and a big theme in that book or the author's message was about friendship and what it means to be a true friend. So today you're going to do a practice iPad project. Next week we'll do the real thing. Today is just our first try at it, a little practice. Um, so today we'll give directions first, you'll do book checkout, and then the last thing you'll do is practice adding text to the project. So your final project is going to be something like this. You're going to take a blank shoe and together with your partner think of words or characteristics to show what's important to you in a friendship. So you'll put words around the shoe to decorate it. You'll use different colors, different sizes, and different fonts. So goals for you is learn how to type text using your iPad, Learn how to change your font and color with the iPad and also resize and rotate. So you are going to, with your partner, share an iPad and you're going to click the Seesaw app. You may have to scroll through your screens to find it, and you'll, but you'll click Seesaw. When you open Seesaw, you probably are logged in as your teacher's class. So Miss Walt's class. What you're going to have to do is go up in the top left corner and click the circle and then you're going to choose sign out. And then it will say, are you sure? You'll click sign out again. After that, you're going to say, I'm a student, and you're going to scan the QR code in the folder at the front. This is Mrs. Wabama's Media Center class. So you're going to scan that code, and then once you get here, you and your partner are going to click the three dots, and you're going to choose copy and edit. Choose one of your names, doesn't matter which one, and then after that, you're going to practice today with adding a label. To do that, you're going to click the letter T at the bottom, looks like this, and click Add Label. The first thing you're going to do is type your names. Once you do that, you can move the names to this spot here, and then you're going to click the Style button right above your names. The window that shows up will give you some choices. You're going to touch where it says Custom. Then you are able to click to choose the color, and you can click here to change the font, which is the style of the letters. Go ahead and add a few more words, and remember I want you to change the color and the font. You also are able to rotate or turn the letters. So if you click on these curvy circle arrows here and drag with your finger, it will rotate. These arrows here, if you push, will go bigger or smaller, so you can change the size of your words. Today, like I said, is just practice. You might only get done typing two different words. That's okay, but I really want to know that everybody today can type a word, change the color, change the font, rotate, and resize. So I'm going to scroll back to this slide here. We'll get there. So my expectations for today are these. So after book checkout, this is what I would like you to do. Once you're finished and it's time to go, um, you're not going to save these projects. You'll just click the X to get out of the project. We, don't not, we do not need to save today. We will work on the real project next week. Today is just meant to be a practice.